Hello and welcome to day two of our video challenge, seven days, uh, five days after today to go. And I wanted to today set you the challenge to do some pre-recorded videos. And I'm going to give you a three part structure, three, um, in order to do that, to make it easier. And I'm even gonna walk you through a very quick video that I made this morning and some of the tips and tricks around what you can do so you can catch, create short, concise, two to three minute videos that are valuable to your community. So yesterday we focused on live videos and the pros of doing live videos is you just jump in. You can't overthink it. You don't have to reshoot it. And once it's done, you just let it be out there and it's, it's dealt with. However, the downside of doing live videos is we can start to ramble and waffle and lose where we're at or be interrupted, which I actually think makes a great live video, like Michelle Lewis uh, had one of her kids wanting to chat to her uh, partway through her live video. And I think that that just all adds to the voyeuristic uh, nature of videos and people like to see behind the scenes. But today, we're going to do a little bit of a pre-recorded -recor structure. Every good video has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I want to share with you an example of what I did. I just made this literally this morning out on the street. I was using the principles we talked about yesterday where I'm still walking around. I had my phone. I had my epic selfie stick. The disappointing thing about this though was the sound started to get a bit crackly and I'm like, ah, what is with me and technology? Why don't things just work? So that's another issue. Uh, the sound's not perfect. I have loaded my sample video up onto YouTube that you can, you can watch it there if you wanna break it down. But I'm also gonna play it right here for you now and I'm gonna pause and tell you what I've actually done. So let's just jump over to it. It's going to start playing. You're going to see me up in the little side, that side actually. And I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing so you can do the same today. The big thing I want to emphasize here is perfection is not the key. You'll see from my video, it's far from perfect, but it's done. And it's on my YouTube channel and it's a piece of content that is valuable. So let's go to it, shall we? Hello, it's Jodes here from The Seven Effect, where we focus on helping business women earn more, work less, and love their life. And in this video, I wanna talk about two critical things you need to put in place if you actually wanna make money in business as well as have a life. So I'm pausing it there because the first part of your video should be an introduction. Now you can see from the timeline, or I don't know if you can see my play bar here, but basically that was 19 seconds. So the goal is to get a video that's really only about two, maximum three minutes long. If you can do all of this in one minute, beautiful, you have a reel. I think it's 60 seconds for a reel. So the shorter and sharper you can get your messaging, the better. There's a beautiful quote by Mark Twain that says, if I had more time, I would have written you a shorter letter. And it just goes to show the short videos are actually harder work than a 10 minute waffling live video. I notice as well, I've got a couple of people who are watching me here live. If you are, jump in the chat. If you've got any questions, let me know and I'll talk you through it. So here's what you want in your intro, your 20 second intro. Hi, it's Jodes here from The Seven Effect. So this is positioning. Who are you? Where are you from? Where we specialize in helping business women earn more, work less, and love their life. So I'm just really planting the seed about what we do, the results we help people achieve. It's all positioning. And then finally, in this video, I'm gonna talk about two critical things you need if you wanna make money in business and still have a life. So I'm letting them know what's coming up. So that's all you need to do, a 20 second intro, who you are, where you're from, and the result you help people achieve, or even who you help achieve what specific result. And then you stop. So you just stop your video and you'll see that after I've recorded that bit, I've then, I'm then going into the next bit. So there's two critical things we need. Here's what they are. Foundations and focus. So there, I'm just having a little bit of fun with 
playing around. It looks pretty lame, to be honest. I just filmed the ground of me stepping on some foundations and given the old eye to eye to focus. So basically this video is about foundations and focus. Now, I'm going to jump into the actual lesson. Now, you don't need to throw in those fun things, but basically this is a very easy thing once you've made all these short mini pieces to splice together in a video um, editing software on your phone, like iMovie if you're an Apple user, or if you're on the other things, Android, just go into your apps and download a, a, a movie maker thing. I'm sure you can get one for free. So now let's get into the middle of the video and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. Here it is. Let's talk about foundations first, shall we? Um, yesterday I ran a team day and we have a team of seven people at seven And onboarding and getting all of these seven people on the same page was really fast and really easy because we have the right foundations. What are the right foundations, I hear you ask? Well, it's really simple. You want to set up what I call your four fundamentals. You need a really clear vision for where you're going as a business leader and where your business is going. What does the future look like? You need to be aligned to your mission. What is your why, your purpose? Why do you exist? Who do you help? It's also really important to have a set of values. We call ours our MO or our modus operandi. What do we operate by? And then finally, what are your measures for success? What are the key things you have in place that measure how your business and your life are tracking? Once you've got your foundation set up, you are going to need focus. Where do you build focus? Well, it's around your strategic plan on a page. Now, a good strategic plan on a page includes some of your aspirational stuff like your mantra and your mission, but it's also organized around key focus areas. So we have five key focus areas in our strategic plan. And basically under each of those key focus areas, we have KPIs, which are measurable targets and goals. And every quarter we check in on those and we look at what we've achieved and what we still need to do. So there you have it. So that was the middle part and it went for about a minute. Is it my best content ever? No, but it's just me demonstrating to you how to make these kind of videos. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can go through and you can see some examples of where I've done other things like this. One in particular is um, the three mistakes startup coaches make. It's just me walking along. I've spliced it together from three little snippets. What I love about building videos this way is you can just meet little milestones. You're like, right, I've nailed my intro, which is my positioning, who I am, where I'm from, and who I help achieve what particular result. Done, in the can, as they say. Then you make your next video where it's just your very short one minute teach point. I'm teaching on foundations and I'm teaching on focus. So I'm planting some seeds around what we help our clients achieve. It's about a minute and 10 seconds, I think that part, or a minute and 30 seconds actually, that part went for. So we've got the beginning, we've got the middle, then we have the end. And in the end, it's really about a call to action or just leaving them with the moral of the story. And tomorrow I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about how you can create videos that bring you leads. But for now, let's just see what I did at the end of this video. If you wanna make more money in business and still have a life, build the right foundations, and get focused on a strategic plan on a page. By the way, if you want some help putting together your strategic plan, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do a live webinar where I'll walk you through exactly how to do that. Just comment below and we'll make sure you get the registration. It's free, it's fun, and it's very powerful to get you focused on the right things. Bye-bye. Hello, it's Joe. So there you have it. That is a breakdown of a very simple pre-recorded structure that you can use to have fun making a video today. Please don't um, feel like you have to be perfect with this. All you need to do is grab your camera and shoot a video, shoot a, a 30 second or 20 second intro. Then spend a minute talking and teaching them something. Then wrap up at the end with a simple that the moral of the story is, here's the lesson, 
or call to action. By the way, if you want a copy of the template I'm talking about or if you want to join my webinar, comment below and I'll send you the details. The nice thing about this is we're starting to create engagement without having to build a full funnel. A funnel is like what we call a lead generation machine where people go to a landing page, they give you the email and all of that kind of stuff. So that is your challenge today. If you don't want to teach something, let's look at it as a really simple thing. You do your intro. Hi, this is who I am. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite book. You get out a book and you say, this is the, my favorite book. This is why I love it. You film that bit and then that's it. And then you close it off in the first part and say, so there you go. That's my favorite book of the week. Could be word of the week, whatever it might be. What I'd love to hear from you is below, what's your favorite book and why? Post it down below. So that's another example. It can be really, really, really simple and fun. All right, that's it from me. Congratulations on everyone who shared their videos yesterday in here. I just wanted to clarify, you can do your videos live or posted out on your page, which is what I recommended to your direct community so that you're using this to build rapport with people, or you can share them in here, or you can do both like Kerry did. I think she shared hers on her page and then shared the link into the group. Just get it done and have fun doing it. Have a great day and any questions, hit me up. Bye-bye.